Welcome to this month's Tea Tasters. Now this month we're on the edge here, beautiful city of London that you can see in the background. It's an absolutely glorious day. And it's just this time of year that I start to enjoy some of the more delicate uh, varieties and nuances of tea that we have available. Now normally we'd have a, a white tea or a black tea, or we've had oolong teas. Today we're gonna have a green tea. Now green tea is broken down into two different types of, uh, uh, of production. You have green tea that has been predominantly steamed, and you've had green tea that's been predominantly pan fried. Now, as with all teas, green tea comes from the Camellia sinensis sinensis, the China leaf variety, and this one comes from Anhui, which is in the southern, southeast provinces of China. You'll see uh, a bit more closely when we get to have a look at the tea that it's got a silky needle like appearance, which is really indicative of a uh, censured or, or steamed tea. Now I really like Accenture, it has a nice luminescent cup and it's a really really light and tasty tea but has good character, has a good length on the, on the taste, it's really really enjoyable. Uh, again coming from the camellia plant and this has been commonly used in China for the last four to five thousand years. So over that period of time of course the Chinese have manufactured all the different nuances of tea but green tea is one of their most popular, one of the best produced in the world. I'm really looking forward to drinking it. When we look at green teas, and we've spoken of briefly about the two methods of producing them, either they are pan-fried or they're steaming. Now what both these processes do is prevent the leaf's ability to oxidise. When the leaf oxidises, of course, we get a semi-oxidised oolong tea, or we get a fully oxidised black tea. So the, the heat used to uh, prevent this oxidization and uh, stop those enzymes uh, doing their, their magic is about two to three hundred degrees centigrade. And the period of time in which the, the leaf, the Camellia sinensis sinensis plants in contact with that temperature can range anything for a few minutes up to four or five minutes. Uh, the longer it steams and the higher the temperature generally the more luminescent, the greener the resulting liquor has come. Whereas a pan-fried tea will tend to have a more yellow uh, look in the cup. So um, you can see here that the needle-like silky uh, appearance and feel of the leaf is, uh, is really quite different for a green tea. Uh, it makes you, uh, makes you feel quite excited to drink it. Uh, brewing time for this, about the same as most other uh, teas, two to three minutes. And actually, if you're going to be uh, making the best of this tea, then what I would usually advise is you allow the kettle to boil and then maybe just cool down for three or four minutes because we're looking at a water temperature of about 85 degrees uh, to, make, uh, to make this uh, green tea. Now, we're going to make up some of this sencha tea. And uh, there's a particular way I like to dry, uh, drink Chinese green tea, and that's to use a, a little pot like this, of course. Uh, it's built an infuser in it, so uh, uh, the tea stays in the pot while you serve out these beautiful cups. Uh, absolutely uh, delightful to use uh, and, to, and to look at. So we're also going to use our tea tasting crockery, like we normally do. And of course I'm going to put one pretty good heat teaspoon of this sencha into the, uh, into the cup here. And now I'm just going to fill that up with some water that we boiled. wind and it's going to allow that to diffuse for a good three minutes. Now sometimes if you use uh, boiling water it can produce a slight bitterness to uh, some of the tea so I always advise just to allow the uh, water to cool for a few minutes as I've said but let's make some of this up and have a taste. Now in here I'm going to put uh, two or three teaspoons of this uh, sencha. And of course the uh, two fingers and the thumb is something that we can use of course and that is the same as that approximately a teaspoon, a teaspoon is a good measure. I put that water in there, let's give that a little stir, of course we'll give that three to four minutes then we'll come back and have a look at some of the colours, the flavours and the aromas. We've given this uh, just short of uh, four minutes, three minutes, 40 seconds to be exact, to, uh, to infuse. And we're just gonna allow that to drain off in there from our tasting crockery. Now, um, as I was saying, this little pot's fantastic to use. You can 
actually a nice uh, half cup of Chinese green censure it will delight anyone's palate. Now, reputedly a good aid for digestion. And of course, having the same caffeine as most other teas. It's a refreshing drink to have any time of day, especially when, uh, when the weather's like this. of that leaf and the leaf as it's infused has really begun to sprung to life there and we have a really beautiful deep uh, luminescent uh, green and just a taste beautiful it's got a vegetative character to it it's got a nice length of sweetness it's a really pleasant green tea and it's going to go nice with anything slightly uh, sweet or a sweet savoury combination and it's great for a really hot day to help you cool you down. So uh, this has been Twining's Tea Tasters and until next time, happy tea time.